guys, it's Tez. Today I'm doing a product review for you and it is of a foundation, which is why I'm not wearing my base at all right now. I started with my eyes today, which I really kind of don't like. I prefer doing the base first and then moving on to the eyes, but there are benefits to doing the eyes first. For instance, if you get fallout, you don't have to worry about messing up your base when you try to clean it up. You can just go with a wipe and be like, bleh, because there's no makeup on here, so you're not ruining anything. But that's not why I did it today. The reason I did it is because of the foundation, and I will get back to why in a second. The foundation I'm going to be demonstrating and reviewing today is the Cryolin TV Paint Stick. It is a stick foundation. This is what the package looks like. So it kind of looks like a little deodorant, and then you twist it up. The packaging itself is not super appealing, but that doesn't really matter. And I was super, super into stick foundations when I was a teenager, back at the end of the 90s. And they kind of stopped being trendy and disappeared a little bit. There's nothing wrong with any other kind of foundation. They're all awesome in their own way. But there's a big benefit of the stick foundation, and that is that they're super fast and easy to put on, especially if you want a lot of coverage. You can just go bloop, smudge it out, and then you have your full foundation face. You can just use your hands to smudge it out. You can use a brush if you want, or a sponge, or whatever, but it's just super handy. So I'm gonna start by just dragging this all over my face. Let's start with that. <laughs> Looks awesome. And then I'm just gonna mix that out. So I wanted to use this specific one for a long time. And I've seen other people achieve great things with this stuff and I love the brand Cryolin. They have amazing special effects makeup. So I thought why not try regular makeup from them as well. So it's high coverage. They have a lot of different shades so you should be able to find a tone that works for you. The only thing that I am not happy about when it comes to this is that it is super oily. It is oil based but that doesn't mean that it has to be super super oily but it really is. I can feel it on my face because it's so oily and my skin is really dry so oily might be good for me. The, like the benefit of that is when I take it off my skin feels moisturized and stuff but going on it's so greasy and uncomfortable if you're not used to that so I would not recommend this for any other skin type than dry skin. As you can see it works great with my paleness. Let's get a little bit more on the cheeks. But the fact that it's so oily is what keeps me from doing the base first because I usually put foundation all over my face, like including my eyelids and then powder and then that makes up the base. But that doesn't work with this foundation because it is so oily that no matter how much I powder or how much eyeshadow I pack on top, it still creases. I'm just going to do some quick highlights on top of that with this Dermacolor Camouflage System Super Pale super opaque, super high coverage concealer, like just down the center of my nose, a little bit underneath my eye. And this is why I don't like doing foundation last because it kind of ruins the eye makeup. Ugh, yeah, I just feel out of my element. Like obviously I'm a makeup artist and I can make anything work, but it's way greasier than I wanted it to be, which I'm disappointed with, but yeah. But at least you can see how high coverage it is, but you can also tell that my face is super greasy and shiny right now. And my face never gets like that. It doesn't look like that when I have just applied my regular foundation. It kind of dries instantly, so I usually don't have to powder that much. But with this, I have to use a lot of powder. Just kind of really pack it on there which makes it again feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Sorry about the drilling noises in the background, by the way, the neighbors are renovating again. Yes, yeah, so you can see that with a bunch of powder, oops, it is starting to matte down, but like I'm using a shit ton of powder right now. So once it is matted down, for me, with my dry skin, it does stay on well and it works, like even 
in sweaty conditions. I can go clubbing or I was in a jacuzzi with some friends last weekend and uh, like with my full makeup on I didn't dip my face in the water obviously but it's like super steamy hotness going up in my face and I was sweating but the makeup stayed on perfectly so it is a good product. It's just that oily thing for the eyes it doesn't work and uh, if you don't like the scents that you're wearing a lot of makeup, then this might not be the product for you. But like I said, now that it's been powdered down, it is super matte instantly. You have no shine at all. And with my dry skin, the shine doesn't come through during the day either. So I'm just gonna do the rest of my base now. One of the things I like that you can do if you want like a sharp line underneath your contour, you can just go over it with the foundation stick. And then just smudge it out. Yes, I'm putting foundation where I have already powdered. What? Can you do that? Yes, you can. But then you have to powder it again. Okay, so my base is now complete and you can see the full look. You can see it blends great into my own skin. There are no lines or anything like that. So I was able to find my own shade pretty easily. The shade that I use is called EF21, but they have like hundreds of different ones. So everyone should be able to find something very close to their own skin tone or like get two of them and mix them together. So yeah, I'm a little... If I love it or I'm just okay with it, I don't hate it, absolutely not. Like it looks great on, it's perfect for when I really want to have high coverage. So it is a great party foundation. But again, I don't think this would work well at all for any other kind of skin type than for dry skin. And that is a problem, like that's an issue. A lot of people don't have dry skin at all. So it just excludes a bunch of people. So yeah. And obviously I don't like the whole I can't put it on my eyes, but obviously like if I just skip that it still works. So Yeah So what I'm gonna do now is proceed with the rest of my day And then come back to you guys later today and show you what it looks like without having been touched up or anything like that When like eight hours have passed or something like that. So I shall be back It has now been six hours and I haven't touched up any of the makeup and It looks like this as you can tell, hopefully, the foundation holds up really well during the day. I haven't done anything crazy straining today. I've done some cleaning and some working and some hanging out with a friend. So I haven't gone dancing or anything like that. But just, yeah, you can see like the regular daily wear kind of thing. So the only thing that I would kind of like to touch up is that it sort of ends up in my under eye wrinkles. It's kind of impossible to avoid no matter which product you use if you have wrinkles, so I don't really care about that. It's an easy fix. You just go like that and you're good to go. So yeah, that was this video. If you want to know more about the product, I'll put some information in the caption box below, but you can also ask me in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!